God, my lens is filthy. Uh, morning, guys. So you join me on my journey to Seven Valley Country Park, which again, I forgot my mic, but thank God it's not windy. Um, anyway, I came off the motorway. Uh, it's about a 40 minute drive from my house. Now, I come off the motorway about 10, 15 minutes from my house, about to go onto a different B road or A road or whatever. And there's this big lake and it's foggy as hell. So I was like, I'm gonna stop here quick and get a few shots. Um, got a really nice little setup. There's all these rocks and stuff for a bit of foreground. So um, yeah, before we get to the country park, I'm going to fire a few of these shots off. So uh, stick with me and let's go to the country park. So, good morning, welcome back to the channel. We made it, and we've still got mist. Now I've stopped a few times, took a few shots on the way here across the fields and stuff, so I mean I'll run those on a bit anyway. But we are gonna go and explore the Seven Valley Country Park. Now you can go down to the railway, and I will go down to the railway, but I don't think we're gonna see any steam trains, because as far as I'm aware, Seven Valley Railway's not running, because once again, <laughs> you COVID. I nearly said something else. So uh, anyway, let's go find some spots and get some shots. Come with us. Quick bit of fun trivia for you. So I'm walking down here, I've just stopped to a couple of photos, and there's these couple of women with their kids. Oh, hang on, I'm just gonna check me stabilizers on because I made that cock up last time. Uh, anyway, yeah, sorry. There's, there was these two kids, um, some parents and whatever, you know, two, two mums, and she's like, come on, Soren. I said, oh, I said, we nearly called our kids Soren. And we went with Ollie, as you know, in the end. I said, but we nearly called our kids Soren. It's a Swedish name. She said, oh, oh, uh, we, we called him it because we thought it was an Irish name. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> so I thought, nah, I'm gonna check this. I'll have checked it. And it's Danish, Norwegian, and Swedish. So, um, oh, my phone's ringing. Hang on a minute. Let's see who wants to be on my YouTube video. Oh, it's my wife. Hello, wife. My camera. That's all right. We can just continue the chat while I'm on the camera. <laughs> hang on a second, hang on. Back in a minute. Well, sorry about the uh, rude interruption. How dare she while I'm making a film. But anyway, so back to where we were. See, it turns out the uh, the name is is blatantly Scandinavian and not Irish. So they're going to go and Google that and be upset that their kid's now Swedish and not Irish. Um, anyway, I'm going to try and slip over on all this mud because it's boggy as hell. So I'm going down to this stream because we've still got a bit of mist on it. I'm going to try and do a long exposure on this uh, piece of stream water. Oh, stream? What am I on about? It's a River Seven. It's the biggest bloody river in England. Um, it's not a stream. But stick with me, we will get over here and we will try a few different styles of photography. Because it is beautiful. Uh, it's a cracking morning, it's freezing. It's definitely freezing. But uh, no, it's cracking, really nice. So we're going to try and get down on the bank here somewhere. Look, I'll have a look. Oh, my bloody phone again, Jesus, you couldn't make it up. So, there you go, that is the River Seven. In all of its glory, flowing reasonably well because we've had quite a lot of rubbish weather. So I'm going to come down here and get some shots. Well, turns out I've been a bit of a donkey because I have left my filters in my other bag. So, um, no longer exposure today. Possibly a time lapse, but it's a bit bloody cold to sit there for 45 minutes. Um, but we'll see. We're going to go up to the train station now and have a look up there and see if we can see any uh, trains. Apparently the work trains are still going. Won't be the steam train, but 
we're gonna walk up there and have a look and uh, scope this area out. Now, I've been here once before with the kids, uh, but then you've got to watch the kids and not watch what's around. So uh, I'm trying not to slip over. This is proper boggy. This is commitment. So um, yeah, let's go find the trains. I've made it to one of the little railway platforms, but they've fenced it all off. Now I did hear that vandals have been in and burnt it, but uh, whoa, what's that yellow thing in the sky? I did hear that vandals have been in and broke it, but you know, hopefully not. Let's see how we do our exposure. There we go. So that's the uh, that's the little railway platform. The trains do come through here. I can cross here as long as I stop looking and listen. But yeah, lovely misty morning looking at me. Cracking. I think that'll be a nice shot, that one. Let's get it. Now for all those that want to have a whinge about that picture, because I was on a train track, it's a crossing. Okay? It's a crossing, I'm allowed to cross it, I'm allowed through the gate. Because I know if I put that photo on groups, all oh my days the railway police will be on there in no time saying you can't stand on a railway track, it's against the law. It's a £4,000 fine, 5,000 people die a year from standing on train tracks. Maybe they do. I think you've got to be pretty stupid to get hit by a train on a bloody train track that's straight. But it does happen, and yes kids, don't go on train tracks, but this is a crossing, so I'm allowed to quickly stop, take a shot, and move off. So uh, there you go, you've been told. So, I just took a shot, uh, put my camera on 10 second timer, looking down the railway track, and uh, I thought I'll get a nice one of me crossing it, stuff like that, and then I had a brainwave. So I tried a few times to jump it, and it was hard work doing a 10 second timer, getting the jump right. And then thankfully, some old dude rocked past with his dog, and I was like, excuse me, can I borrow you? Can you hold this button? Put it on burst mode, use the shutter remote, boom, got the shot coming at you. Well, I tell you, that made for some cracking shots. Um, the mist just coming up over these tracks is, uh, hang on, I'm gonna flip you around. That there gets something to focus up. That's just, that's cracking. Really chuffed the valor's come out. So, really happy the valor shots came out. Um, oh, there's another path that goes up the side here. I'm going to, while this fog and the light's coming through the trees, it is the time to, to get in there and make the most of these sort of sun rays and, and the mist. It's cracking. I'm, I'm glad I came and I'm glad I got up when I got up. I didn't get here as early as I'd like because I have to take the kids to school today. But you know, cracking little place. I'm going to, going to get a few more shots. Right, come back down to the riverbank. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can get some wildlife. Obviously, kingfisher, number one on the list. But uh, not sure it's gonna happen. But 
it's beautiful. It's tranquil. The sun's coming through. The mist is starting to rise. The river's flowing. There's no one here. Um, it's busy up top in the normal spots, but you get off the beaten track, and it's it's lovely. So yeah, I'm gonna go and set up somewhere. I'm gonna sit down, have a drink, probably get a soaking wet bum, freezing cold feet, don't care. There's some shots I want, and I'm going for them. Probably won't get them, but who knows. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head down that path, see what we can find. Let's go. Shit, forgot my camera. Walked down to the bank, I was getting a shot of these leaves over here that were like lighting up with the mist behind and stuff like that. The two kingfishers just flew past me and skimmed me. I, honestly, I was like, what? So now I am ready, hopefully, to find one. Um, yeah, they are an elusive bird. They're hard to get. I can hear them, I can't see them. So I'm gonna have a walk along this bank and see if I can uh, see if I can get lucky. But got some nice robin shots at least. But yeah, they flew right past me, into this bush and straight out again. I was like, what the, but I don't know where they've gone. So stick with me, let's go for Kingfisher Chase. I'll get a few shots. Right. Come into a bird box, which is something if you asked me 10 years ago, even two years ago, that's something I would say I was never going to do. Not, I'd never do it. I hadn't dreamt of it. But I'm in this little bird box. There's a couple of these plotting around the uh, Seven Valley Country Park. And I'm going to see if I can get any shots of some birds. They've got a nice little setup. I'll show you. Got a few bits and pieces for squirrels and birds and whatever to to come and eat and hang on to. Well, there doesn't look like there's much food in there. But we're going to see if we can uh, get some shots. Let's go. Well, that is the end of my vlog at Seven Valley Country Park. And what a lovely place. There was loads more to explore. Didn't get too lucky with a kingfisher. A couple of little tits in the cabin there, but uh, you know, look at it. It's, I'll probably just overexpose the hell out of that. But yeah, cracking place. So I'm gonna go back to the car, get changed, and head home, pick the kids up from school. So uh, until the next video, you know what's coming. Peace out. I'm lost for words to be honest, it's really nice. Um, yeah, what crap words they were, really nice. Okay now. <laughs> <laughs>